wait, wait, wait. We should probably do a little recap, as it's been a few weeks since the last upload. And if you haven't seen the first video, link in the description. But previously, Rick spent the first few days of his venture starving to death, then had to gun his way into the prison and spent three horrible days on the roof, racking up tons of kills. Until he finally made it inside and cleared out a home in the cell block and made some friends. Jesus Christ. And some enemies. And we weren't taking any chances. And with his next steps to improve the base, he headed out to try get some supplies from a local warehouse, but gets sidetracked by a little construction site and things don't go to plan. And we're all caught up. Um, shit. Must have found a big hoard out here. There's a lot of zombies out here. Woo! So the first little trip to get some supplies didn't go too well, and we even lost our ambulance. But after a quick rest. Time to take out some of the zombies following me a little more quietly. I'll try and get her. Whilst rummaging through some of the bodies, Rick decides to make a little change to his style. Looks familiar. And after taking out way more zombies than I wanted to, maybe it's time to get her. And we bump into a new survivor. Katarina. Katrina? Well, she joins us, and we just call her Kat. And after a little walking, we finally get her. Introducing Kat to the rest of the group, dumping off some of the supplies we found, and getting some sleep. And then into day 14, which is a little bit of a mess of a day. Spent the start organizing, bumping into a random survivor walking around the base, Dr. Wendy, and spending most of the day looting up the prison. With some of our new supplies, looking into making an improvised silencer. And as the hand torch one is the only one we can make, we craft it up. And after a day of really getting nothing done, we go to bed. And wake up on day 15, where we prep for the day ahead, attaching our new silencer to a pistol and plan on walking over to the warehouses what we were aiming for the other day. But not even a little while into our walk, disaster strikes. Just casually clearing out a few zombies and laceration. Um, and whoever told me not to take anemic in the comments, you were right. But somehow running away through the woods, we patch Rick up. And as good a time as any to test out the silencer. And we continue our journey, walking across the farmland, building some farm buildings on the way. Until we arrive at the construction site where we lost the ambulance. And we see how many zombies we drew over with the shotgun. Maybe not a good idea to use that again. But we carry on, moving our way through the woods. But of course, the woods aren't as empty as we hoped. We start to gather a little bit of attention. When we finally get to an opening, we think it's best to try and clear the zombies following. But as we tick out more and more Zeds, the silence is still loud enough to bring in more. With the pistol running dry and the darkness creeping in, we make a very stupid decision. I feel like this is an awful idea. It's time to run. But it seems like I've lured almost all the zombies in the local area. There might not actually be that many zombies over here. Please. Please. And somehow, Rick being knackered, we made it away from the huge hordes. Just now to navigate the dark and get back to the prison. And we did think of hunkering down in the house, but... Yeah, no chance of that. And just as I'm thinking we're doing all right, we bump into a huge horde in the woods. I'll just let you watch. Please don't bump into a horde. Like that. Right, I'm just 
getting away from them. And after somehow surviving that, we get out of the woods and find the drive-in. With the sun coming up and the fog rolling in, we take the chance killing a few Zeds and trying to get a car. But of course, no luck there. But we aren't that far from the prison, so we start making our way back. At least we can see now. But with the rest of the journey being more or less chill, we finally get home and Rick goes straight to sleep. And waking up on day 17 after missing the whole of day 16. We start our day very early, sorting out the base and finally getting Rick to clean himself. Damn, he must stick. And we do a little bit of a perimeter check, taking out some of the shambling intruders. And we decide to go and get Audrey, who for some reason has just stood out in the middle of the yard. But we get Audrey to follow us for our next run, which we decided to try and get back to the town. And after finding out the police cruiser has no fuel, we have to go on foot. But killing a few Zeds in the way, we finally arrive at the police station, which we know has an abundance of cars. But first, time to put Audrey to the test. And of course, as soon as the action starts, she runs. And after the fight's over, of course she reappears. We take a little peek into the station, and of course we get a little more attention there too. And with Rick already being tired from his early wake up, it's a little bit of a hard fight. With finally Audrey showing up to kill the last set. She's really not that useful, but after luring the last of the zombies out the station, to get some sleep in the office, as Rick's not doing so good after his all-nighter. And we wake up early on day 18, and decide why we'll not take a peek at the fire station across the road, the future spot we want to loot, but we definitely aren't getting there today, unless we won't end up like Kenneth here, but we do sneak around to the police car park and begin checking through some of the cars, and taking out a few of the Zeds that are being dragged over by the noise. But we do get lucky, a police truck that has a key in it already, and some fuel as well and also a few goodies in the boot. But we do gain a little bit more attention, but make a light work. And with all the Zeds around the station dealt with, we loot up the rest of the cars and dump all the loot in the truck. Before we go, we decide to take a quick look in the station, just in case there's anything else to loot. And of course, while fighting the dead, Audrey tries to run away again. But this time, she gets quiet. And Audrey's gone. And just as I think it can't get any worse, we bump into a hostile survivor. But he does have a fire axe, which we are going to need for later. So, we do what has to be done. But before we can even loot the axe, the blast from the shotgun have brought all the Zeds out of the woodwork. And we have to make a dash to the car and a close getaway. But, the hold that was chasing Kenneth earlier blocked my path. So we have to dump our new car and have to make a lasting ditch effort over the fence. Gee. Oh my god. And ended up running all the way back to base with no Audrey and no loot to show for it. Rick goes straight to bed again after four days of failures. <laughs> and waking up early on day 19, Rick wanders the prison for the early hours, taking out a few zombies. And feeling like he needs to try again. So as soon as the sun's up, he equips the tactical axe and leaves the shotgun at home, then heads out. And with some luck, we find a zombified Patrick Baker with a very useful fire axe. And with his goal to find another car, he heads to the car park next to the courthouse, clearing all the zombies in the area with the axe. And the truck to silence pistol. With none of the cars being usable, we head further into town, aiming for the housing area in the middle, and hopping the fence and checking the car outside of this house, but no luck. And again, we're just getting tired, so we decide to hunker down in the house for the night. And finally, making it to day 20 and waking up at a more reasonable time. But with the houses seeming like a bus for finding a car, we make a run to get out of there and bumping into a familiar face Kenneth, the bastard that led the horde away from the fire station. I mean, I would kill him but I'm not risking luring another horde to me. So we move on planning on running home until we have an idea. And don't worry, this idea shouldn't be as dodgy as the last few. We're looking for cars when really all we need is fuel. So we could just venture across town to the fuel station, fill up a few cans and we'd be all set. So we get going. But as we make our way further through the town, the number of Zeds is crazy. But we dodge our way through and make it to the gas station. 
now to loop through the woods and get rid of the Zeds following, and run back over to the station and clear out the rest. And finally, we've done it. One of our plans didn't go to hell. We fill up two gas cans and even get a van running. Now just for the treacherous ride home, which somehow we make it through, and we arrive safely back at base. We do see a hostile survivor outside, but we ignore him for now, until he just walks into the base, and... But then, time to get a good night's sleep, after finally a successful day. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed, subscribe for more. Leave a like to help with the algorithm. Let me know what you think in the comments.